Hey guys, it's Julie, and I am at PetSmart with Barrett. This is his first field trip inside a store. It's busy, it's Saturday morning, there's lots of people, we're hoping to see a dog around the store. Right now we're just healing around the aisles. Um, lots of tempting smells, and so I'm asking him to prioritize his heel over all of that. Healing in these aisles is challenging because he wants to sniff everything but I'm asking him to prioritize the command over his nose. He knows that on break time he gets to sniff. We're also running into people and we are practicing polite behavior, not barking, not growling, not lunging. Sit. Good boy. And this is a dog who is very, very nervous of people. Um, if you weren't in his small circle, he were being barked at, lunged at, growled at. And there are people all around the store. Let me just show you how busy this store is. Heel. I mean, people everywhere. So we're sort of flooding him. People everywhere. So what we're gonna do right now is a downstay at the main entrance get some exposure in a controlled way. This is proper socialization in the real world. Down. Okay, so we are at the main entrance of PetSmart. There's people everywhere. Grooming salon's open. There's another dog right over there that he sees. Um, and we're just trying to get some stationary command work. So he gets to observe the world in a calmer way than what he was doing before, where it was just nothing but reacting. <clears throat> all, no, I'm not in line. <laughs> all the sniffing, all this curiosity, that's really, really good stuff. If I wanted to calm him down even further, down, I can put him in that double down. He sees this dog straight ahead and remember, Barrett was a dog that was extremely dog reactive. We're not in line. Okay. No. Good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is all good, good stuff right here from Barrett. The sniffing and the curiosity instead of growling, lunging, hackles up, barking, just completely out of control. This is all good stuff. Remember, this is his first field trip out in the public. Lots of stuff going on, too. It couldn't be any busier. So again, we've got that double down if we need it. And I'm not saying his chin needs to be glued to the ground, but it's more of a reset if you notice him struggling. Just shifted his hips over. That's really, really good. See, I'm gonna click here at a 10. Down. Good boy. See how that settles him. Be Guys, we just left PetSmart. Busy Saturday morning. I'm really proud of how Barrett did. First field trip inside a store. Um, and it's actually the first time he's actually been able to take in information of his surroundings without reacting to it. Think about that. Because every time they've taken him out before, it's just been nothing but barking, lunging, growling at people. It's been uncontrollable, unmanageable. Um, his reactivity to dogs was off the charts. And it just feels really good to see him so calm and curious, sniffing at people instead of lunging at them. I'm really proud of how this dog did today.